happened here was that we asked the agency to go take steps and put in place programs that were designed to catch the bastards who killed 3,000 of us on 9-11 and to make sure it didn't happen again. And that's exactly what they did. The only person more vile than you, Dick, is the illegal punk in the White House. Come on, Dick, you're very well aware that they haven't caught the bastard yet, as you are still on the loose, sitting in front of the line media cameras with your fairy tales. Brett and all of his colleagues would lose their jobs if they had as much as tried to stop you subhuman mongrels from lying. You and the other psychopaths and sociopath globalists believe that history has chosen the U.S. to exercise hegemony over the world, thereby making the U.S. exceptional and indispensable. Let me tell you that you are the sick bastard that you call others. At one point, this report describes interrogators pureeing food of one detainee mm -hmm. and inserting it in his anus, something the agency called rectal rehydration. I mean, is that torture? Um, I don't. Uh, I don't know anything about that specific instance. I can't speak to that. I think the. I guess the question is, what are you prepared to do in order to get the truth uh, about future attacks against the United States? The wholesale murder campaign of sheer and undiluted evil that few public figures can't compare to dastardly Dick. What sick, twisted, malevolent piece of excrement. The bastard first helped orchestrate these mass murders on 9-11 and then used the event as pretext torturing innocent men, women and children, including anal probing, raping and sodomizing, beatings and sick games involving mass nudity and human excrement they won't even allow to be discussed also off the table is the known presence of israeli agents in their torture facilities the ogre tries to convince the gullible public that it worked even though the report affirms that again these techniques were ineffective and never furnished any smoke and gun information or anything truly useful like actionable intelligence dick morality and basic sense of humanity is foreign to you this and report says it I, was not successful the report's full of crap excuse me i said hooey yesterday let me use the real word the one full of crap is you dick not that you abide by or care for the rule of law, but international law prohibits granting of immunities to public officials who engaged in acts of torture that applies not only to the actual perpetrators, but also those within the U.S. government who devised, planned, and authorized the crimes. What you need is a shot of your own medicine, old boy. You truly are one nasty lunatic, Dick. What crime did Harry Whittington commit for you to shoot him in the face, you drunkard? Seeing your behavior on national TV, it's not surprising that your victim actually apologized for being shot by you. He said, quote, My family and I are deeply sorry for everything VP Cheney and his family had to deal with, unquote. You really are a loaded gun dig. Guess just who the bastard is in this case again, Dick? One detainee, Gull Rockman, who died in captivity, November 2002. 3,000 3, Americans died on 9-11 because of what these guys did. They died because of what you and your masters, the Mossad, did, you despicable, vile, lowlife. You were intimately involved. Strongly supportive of the program, strongly supportive of the opinions coming out of the Justice Department. The um, uh, work that was done was, uh, I think, absolutely essential and absolutely crucial. And I guess the, the thing that, that always struck me was how careful the agency was in coming forward and saying, yes, we can do the following, but we need authorization. Careful and needing authorization, my foot. Between the brown noses, lick spittles and sycophants in the media, they'd all rather Peter pants than take you criminals on. Besides, those you don't threaten, you pay. You people are over the top dangerous, and like the two queers in the White House, you and stupid Bush were also mere puppets. And don't you ever forget it. Keep that in mind before you call innocent people bastard, you weird freak. Israel was created for one purpose only, to provide a sovereign country from which Jews can operate their worldwide criminal enterprise. 
the world's most wanted criminals find safe haven in Israel, whether mass murderers or gigantic swindlers who are wanted by other countries are granted automatic citizenship in Israel under the law of return. Thus, they will never be extradited to other states. The Jewish state acts as a safe haven for the worst culprits under the sun. President Vladimir Putin is the only leader in the world who has the courage to put the gigantic Jew globalists and world criminals in a cage. Yet, that man is wrongfully attacked non-stop by the ignorant media and the even more stupid masses. A few months ago, in response to too many tragedies, including the shootings of a United States Congresswoman, Gabby Gifford, who's here today, and the murder of 20 innocent school children and their teachers. Tragedies are called false flags. You are showing off crisis actors, Barry. On the left, the wretched arc scientist Hornstein, also known as Giffords, was busted as a Mossad mole and fabricator of Zionist terror. Her actor, not husband, is also as fake as they come. A bullet fired from a semi-automatic weapon has immense energy striking a skull. The vast damage produced including boring through the cranial bones while ripping through and tearing apart the brain at such close range would have killed anyone. The woman on the right behind Joe the Moron already looks punished. She is scared witless. Remember Loretta Fuddy who knew too much? And why did they take out Dominique Di Natale? Did he find out that Michael Brown in Ferguson was a hoax as well? It wasn't exactly far-fetched to suspect foul play when a journalist who covered controversial stories suddenly dies. I sure wish the American people were not such gullible fools. A majority of senators voted yes to protecting more of our citizens with smarter background checks. What happened? They opted for the dumb background checks on you? By now it's well known that 90% of the American people support universal background checks that make it harder for a dangerous person to buy a gun. What is even more well known is that you are a serial liar, boy. It's only 4%. We're talking about convicted felons, people convicted of domestic violence, people with a severe mental illness. If that is the criteria, what are we going to do with you, Barry? After all, misrepresentation, identity theft, fraud obtain a federal position, birth certificate fraud, social security fraud, draft registration fraud, election fraud, violation of the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, treason, bribery, racketeer influenced and corrupt organizations act otherwise known as RICO but of course the sheep are too dumb to realize what is going on still going to speak honestly I'm gonna speak plainly and honestly about what's happened here we are used to plain and this uh, you, you, you know the uh, uh, you, you, you know the uh, here are some of the Sandy Hookers. They are actors, liars, criminals, and prostitutes who set out to take our Second Amendment right. Keep in mind, the big oaf in front is a special contributor. And this legislation met that test. And too many senators failed theirs. Nope. They only failed to vet you and keep the trash out of our White House, Barry. As I said from the start, no single piece of legislation can stop every act of violence and evil. You mean violence and evil like this, Barry? Barry, you are a joke heard around the globe. Some writers and the alternative media say we have a lawless president, which is a lie, because we have no president. We have an affirmative action to Kia practicing two-bit Muslim punk, a tool for the Washington DC private corporation a con artist and grifter who together with a transvestite parked their illegal butts in our White House while they pretend to be legal residents and Michael, also known as Michelle, gives America instructions as to what we should be allowed to eat. Why anyone would even listen and take these two clowns seriously is simply beyond me. 
Can anyone fathom just how much fun these two lowlifes have, giving America the one-finger salute and laughing themselves silly at those dumb enough to indulge them? We have a shadow government since America was taken over by the banksters via a coup d'etat. And now, let Barry introduce Michael, also known as Michelle. Distinguished guests and men and women of the finest military in the world. And most of all, Admiral Mullen, Deborah. Michael and I also want to acknowledge uh, your son Jack, who's deployed today. Uh, all of you have performed extraordinary service to our country. 